Hello viewers, uh, this is Dr. Abdul Khayyum. I'm a medical oncologist. I'm bringing you uh, the, this series of videos which gives information on several aspects of uh, cancers. These are real cases who presented in clinic with various problems and we discuss the um, subject in detail with the patients. Now, just a word of caution, kindly do not start any treatment on the information based on the information given in these uh, videos the better approach would be to uh, take advice from your physician now we will start with a real case of breast cancer and we know that the breast cancer is the most common cancer among females and the average presentation age is about 54 years the topic to be discussed in this video is bone therapy which is given after the cancer is dealt with this type of treatment is called adjuvant treatment because it's adjunct to the main uh, treatment to eradicate cancer. The lady was 56 years of age and presented in March 2019 with left breast cancer. In May 2019, after finishing the investigational workup, she had a removal of her left breast, a surgery called mastectomy, and also she had surgery on, on the uh, lymph nodes in the armpit on the left side a surgery called axillary node surgery. Uh, after the surgery, the tumor was examined uh, under a microscope and it was found that the size of the tumor was 26 millimeter. She also had multiple separate uh, um, clusters of the cancer in the left breast and these were, uh, these are called satellite tumors and these were all also definitely removed by the surgery. On the armpit surgery, uh, two lymph nodes were found and both of these were uh, free of tumor. The biology of the tumor is very important in further treatment and uh, this lady had a tumor which was positive um, for estrogen and progesterone receptors and this means uh, the tumor was stimulated by these hormones present in the body. This has implication on further treatment because uh, the treatments blocking these hormones will be considered in future for her. Now the tumor uh, was also analyzed for another protein which is um, shown to stimulate tumor growth and is called HER2 protein and in this case uh, the tumor was negative uh, means it did not show any um, presence of the uh, HER2 protein. She received adjuvant treatment with radiation, uh, uh, radiation therapy to the left chest at the site of surgery. This type of treatment is only um, beneficial in redu reducing the chances of recurrence at the site of surgery. It does not affect the body as a whole. She was later commenced on uh, uh, adjuvant hormonal treatment, uh, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, is meant to block the uh, hormonal stimulation by estrogens and progestins. Now, in the uh, in the in the session in the clinic, we discussed adjuvant bone therapy. The evidence for this type of treatment comes from uh, a meta-analysis. Uh, just to uh, just a word of explanation here, meta-analysis means analysis of several uh, trials combined. This meta-analysis was carried out by early breast cancer trialist collaborative group in short form EBC-TCG and they analyzed 26 clinical trials. In all these clinical trials actually uh, a group of agents was compared against no therapy. These group of agents uh, is called bisphosphonates and uh, they include uh, medicines like alendronate, clodronate, ibendronate, pomidronate, and zoledronic acid. Zoledronic acid was used most frequently. The meta-analysis concluded that there is 2% reduction in the bone recurrence of the tumor, means the tumor coming back in the bones. This reduction is modest but, definite, uh, but very definite. It was also concluded that the woman who attained a menopause before the diagnosis of breast cancer uh, got the benefit of the treatment 
um, but the women who were not menopausal at the time of diagnosis did not draw any benefit from the treatment. The treatment uh, reduced also uh, the bone damage from the tumor, fracture rates, and also the deaths from breast cancer. So it seems that in addition to uh, preventing bones from the cancer, it also affects the breast cancer itself and redu reduces the rate of uh, um, death from the cancer. Now, uh, how the treatment is given? The treatment most commonly, zoledronic acid, is given as a IV infusion, intravenous infusion, over 15 minutes, once every six months for three years. That is the course uh, <clears throat> is for six injections only. In some cases, we may consider giving tablets instead of injections uh, if the uh, intravenous injection um, is a problem. Like all other treatments, this type of treatment has also its side effects, the most common being flu-like symptoms for a few days after the injection. Paracetamol is effective in these scenarios, and we <coughs> advise to start paracetamol one day before treatment and to continue for three to four days. The other side effects uh, are aches and pains, which are generalized, involving muscles and joints mainly. These are manageable, sometimes can be debilitating, and continue for a few days. However, in some rare cases, we have seen that these continued for a few weeks also. Some patients do complain of fatigue. This is also rare and subsides after a few days. Now, I want to um, per mention particularly uh, one side effect which is quite distressing. This is called osteonecrosis of jaw, and it means uh, the patches of, uh, small patches of dead tissue appear in the jaw. This is very rare. However, since it's quite distressing and prolonged, we advise all the patients who start the treatment with bisphosphonates to get a dental evaluation and assessment before starting the first course of the treatment. And also we ask them to report any jaw pain or dental issues during the treatment uh, and the treatment needs to be stopped if such complaints do occur. Another side effect is lowering of the blood calcium. Um, again, very rare. However, we need to be careful and do blood testing for blood calcium uh, before um, every uh, course of treatment and the blood test for the calcium is also done if the symptoms arise and this condition is treated by giving uh, the supplements uh, of calcium. Now considering the benefit of no treatment versus uh, treatment um, in terms of the recurrence of the breast cancer we do recommend uh, this uh, treatment to all eligible patients. If you are a patient and uh, you are eligible, then definitely your oncologist will uh, make a recommendation for you. He will also provide you with the information literature and uh, I advise that uh, please go through the information literature carefully, ask any questions if there are any doubts and consent only if you are convinced about the efficacy and if you are ready to face the side effects posed by the treatment. Also, I would strongly advise to consult your oncologist if problems arise. Thank you very much for, seeing, uh, for uh, viewing this uh, video and please subscribe if you like the video to receive the uh, other videos uh, in the series.